to some more politics for you this afternoon, this time in relation to Parliament and its tango with the Supreme Court. And the Speaker of Parliament says the Supreme Court erred in its decision to grant Alexander Penyo Markin's request for a stay on his ruling to have some four seats declared vacant. Alban Bagwin, as to his lawyers, returned to the Apex Court praying it sets aside its orders which suspended the execution of the Speaker's ruling on the said vacant seats. Lawyers for the Speaker argue the rates which invoked the jurisdiction of the Supreme Court is incompetent while insisting the Apex Court was not the appropriate forum to discuss the matters as raised by Alexander Apenyo Markin. Let's try and walk you through brief highlights of uh, the statement of claim and the arguments being put forth by the Speaker's lawyers for you uh, this afternoon. And that hearing is slated for tomorrow. It'll be interesting, really, what happens. But this is what uh, the Speaker is praying uh, the Supreme Court to do. Set aside the processes and proceedings in the Supreme Court uh, in the suits vacating the order of the court. Dated the 18th of October, 2024. So essentially, Alban Bagwin is asking that the Supreme Court uh, states its own decision, but a bit more in terms of the grounds upon which he's making uh, this, or he's praying the court uh, for his demands to be granted, that the writ by, the, uh, by which the plaintiff has purportedly invoked uh, the court's original jurisdiction is incompetent. And by, by the plaintiff here, uh, we mean the NPP's leader in parliament, Alexander Penyomarke. Now, uh, the speaker's lawyers continue to argue, argue that the court has no jurisdiction to entertain the suit before it, and that uh, it should have been something handled by the High Court if a case for interpretation arose when the High Court was uh, going through the details of that particular suit, then they could stay the proceedings in the High Court and go to the Supreme Court for proceedings. But uh, the court has no jurisdiction to stay the execution of a ruling of the Speaker of the Parliament of the Republic of Ghana. They argue further that the processes and proceedings in the suit uh, were filed and prosecuted in breach of the rules of natural justice in the ex parte manner in which uh, Alexander Fenyo Markin went to court. And they argue as well again that the orders of the court dated the 18th of October 2024 were made in breach of the rules of natural justice. We've brought you that. And that the orders of the court dated the 18th of October were made in breach of the rules of procedure which regulate the court's proceedings and orders. Lastly, uh, they are asking that the orders of the court dated the 18th of October uh, were made in breach of the rules which prescribe the manner for exercising every type of discretion as stated in the provisions of Article 296A and B of the 1992 Constitution of the Republic of Ghana. So essentially, uh, the Speaker, as we long have expected, is heading back to that forum where the stay was granted Alexander Fenyo Markin to seek to have the Supreme Court stay its own hand. And like I mentioned, that suit is expected uh, to be is expected to, to be heard today, uh, slated for not today, tomorrow rather, slated for tomorrow. And we here on New Central will be there, bring you details as it transpires. It will take us on to our very first break uh, for this afternoon.